Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is TRSKSS, and welcome back to the channel. And guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about something that I saw this morning over on my Twitter page that a lot of you guys were going crazy about. And now, of course, people, before we begin, I was just wondering if you guys could support the video by dropping a blue thumbs up. Maybe you guys could go ahead and support it with that. And if you could, then you, I'd really appreciate it. And you guys could be the the true MVP. You guys could be my favorite subscriber if you guys drop a like on the video right now. And also, if you guys are brand new here and you haven't yet, then make sure that you do hit that subscribe button because I do upload content about multiple different games over on this channel. And also, guys, check out my second channel down below, which I'm going to start uploading on eventually. But anyways, people, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this. Alright, guys, so as you know, a few months ago, or maybe like a few weeks ago or something, there was a very, very strange glitch that surfaced in the GTA community, and it let a lot of people get very, very rich. Now, of course, there was that goody old two-shoes that went over to Rockstar Support, filed that ticket, and alerted Rockstar. And then everybody that did the glitch lost all their money, and got banned, and so it was very unfortunate for them. But people, if you guys don't have a modded account, and if you guys really don't want to spend all that time doing missions, then that DLC can really leave a dent in your pocket. And I mean, who wants to be the person that doesn't already have an MC clubhouse? Like, you guys don't want to buy shark cards, you guys don't want to grind out missions, so we're gonna have to come up with a different way to make some money. So yes, of course, when we were switching our characters about two months ago, people were getting about $2.8 million put into their GTA 5 accounts. Now, of course, this is patched, but today I saw a very interesting glitch that was similar to this that I thought, why don't I go ahead and talk about this in a video here? Now, obviously, I'm not going to showcase footage of it because I don't want my channel to get banned or anything, but this is what you guys had to do. Basically, you guys had to have two characters that were both above rank one, and you guys had to have them with a, some type of a CEO clubhouse. So now this works super well if you guys had a modded account, because you guys can simply go ahead and just buy this second character uh, office for the CEO, and then you guys would no longer have to worry, and you guys could just keep swapping back and forth. So I figured... Alright, maybe we should go ahead and try this, because I did see it, and it looked like there was 25,000 people that were, like, searching up this glitch and that were interested in it. Now, after I did check into it, it seemed like 500 or so people said it didn't work, and 130-something people did say that it was working. So I figured, alright, there's a pretty good chance that this glitch is working. Why don't I go ahead and take a little look here and test it out, show it off to my subscribers, if it is, because obviously I want to go ahead and inform you guys about the most recent stuff that's happening in the community. And if I don't report this, then not really doing my job. But anyways, people, moving on. I decided to go ahead and test it out, and it seemed like the glitch itself wasn't working. I wasn't sure if it was the exact same one from two months ago, so I did look up the one from two months ago, and sure enough, it was a completely different one, where again, if you guys were switching your character, you would get $2.8 million put into your GTA 5 account. Now, I'm not really all too sure on all of the steps that you had to take to do this, and even if I was, I wouldn't disclose them all because I don't want to get anybody banned and I don't want to get myself banned again. But pretty much you guys just had to have that CEO office. And if you guys had that, there was like some time limit for when you could buy it or something. And then if you swapped over in a certain amount of time, then you would, of course, get that $2.8 million refund put back into your GTA 5 account because the Rockstar servers would register and say that you guys had bought it, but then you didn't want it, so then you would get the $2.8 million back for your character to go ahead and spend, even though you guys already had that office there. Now, what players were doing is they found out that it worked once, and then they did it again and again and again, and every single time they switched between characters, they got $2.8 million. So, let's say, for example, I switched between my characters about two times. I went to character 1 to 2 and then back from 2 to 1. I would get 2.8 million each time, which was about 5.6 million. 
So yes, of course people, the money in this really added up fast, and it made all of the GTA 5 players out there very, very spectacal and like wondering how this was happening. So yes, of course, people just kept on doing it until one guy out there found out that it had happened and he went and told up Rockstar. He was like, people, we can't have this happening. So he went and filed a support ticket and then, like I said, everybody got banned and it was just not a good day for them. So it does appear like the glitch that I saw this morning is not working anymore, which I mean is pretty okay because I really don't want to get a ton of people banned by talking about it and I don't want to have like the whole community lose out on all the cool stuff that they just bought from the biker DLC that came out, but I do understand that it could be leaving a little bit of a dent in your wallet because people, I mean, who has all that money left over to go ahead and spend on the biker's DLC? Like... I know I didn't. I know that I had to, you know, sell a few things and exchange a few cars and stuff in order to get the stuff that I really wanted. And luckily, I didn't have to, you know, buy much of anything at all. So it was good. And so, people, anyway, I just thought I should go ahead and share that with you guys. Now, yes, some of you people are still broke on GTA 5, and you're wondering, well, how can I get some free, easy cash? Because obviously, I don't want to just be sitting here doing a bunch of missions and buying myself shark cards. Well, not to worry, not to worry. I do have a little method here for you that I think would be extremely helpful, and it's also very legitimate. So guys, in the biker DLC that Rockstar released, there was a mode known as slipstream and if you guys play slipstream and you like slipstream off of characters and you guys win the race you guys can get bucket loads of money yes people i'm talking between 70,000 and 100,000 in just a couple of minutes now of course since this is a rockstar games mission you obviously can't get banned from doing it and if you guys were then you guys could say that you did their mission, and they could go back and look through, and they would see that all you guys did indeed do was just play some Slipstream with your friends. Like, you guys just played it about 15 times, and you guys had millions of dollars put into your account. So, obviously, you couldn't really be banned here if you go ahead and do it. So, the way to access Slipstream is if you guys go into your pause menu, and you go to Jobs and Rockstar Created under the Online tab, then you guys will see under... I think it is the adversary modes that there's all these different ones here, such as like Slipstream and things like that. So right now, they are all double money in RP, which means that the payouts for them are even higher than they normally are, which is a good idea for the people. Now, this was only put out like two days ago where the payouts were a little bit higher, and I did see that more than two days ago, there were people that were getting like $75,000 just from completing this. So, I mean, you people can do the math and find out that that's $150,000 just for racing one time. So it's a pretty good deal, and I definitely recommend doing that if you guys are a little broke on GTA 5, and maybe you guys don't want to spend all that money on a modded account or something like that, especially when you have to wait now 30 days to transfer over to the PS4, because, you know, Rockstar didn't want anybody to be exploiting with those mods anymore, so they just kind of said... We're done with modded accounts. But anyways, people, I really hope that you guys do go ahead and use that money method to your advantage because, like I said, the biker DLC probably left quite a big dent in your some of you guys' wallets. And of course, you're going to want to figure out a way that you guys can get some more GTA 5 cash added into your bank accounts. Anyways, people, I hope that you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, then make sure that you do drop a blue thumbs up and let's try and get this video to over oh, I don't know can we do three blue thumbs up three likes is what I ask for on today's video and if you guys can get this video to over three likes I will upload another video similar to this where I talk about a different money issue that's happening in the GTA 5 community also people if you are brand new here then don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we have 704 subscribers and I mean, we got to continue that road to 1,000 subs so then we can, you know, I don't know, do whatever you guys want me to at 1,000 subs. So make sure that you do subscribe to the channel if you're brand new here. 
And also, guys, make sure that you do go ahead and follow me on Twitter because in the next few days, of course, my uploads might be a little bit more sporadic. And I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on any of my brand new videos here in the near future. Anyways, with all that being said, my name is TRSKSS, and I'll see you guys all later on, and peace out, guys.